What point did you realize singing was your gift? Uh, well, I always sang. I always was into music. Um, I played piano quite young. When I was nine was the first time I sang in a choir, and we put on Pirates of Penzance, which is a Gilbert and Sullivan piece, and I was in the choir. And so we got dressed up and we did the show, and I totally fell in love with it then. Aww. And two years later, I sang um, a mall in a mall in the Night Visitors, which is a sort of a Christmas show. And it was the first time I'd done a solo role, and and I just I thought it was so exciting putting on the makeup well, and yeah. getting all that to do all that. And I think that's probably when I first loved it. I grew up in a very small town where there was a lot of music actually. Um, but not professional music, like there was no professional okay. company. So it didn't really dawn on me that that was a possible career until I was later into my teens, because I just wasn't exposed to that. I didn't realize that you could actually make a living doing music. So for me, it was more of a hobby until, until I went to university. And what kind of professional training have you had? Uh, well, I went to university, I did my bachelor's and my master's at McGill University in Montreal, and then uh, I came here to the COC and I did their ensemble program for two years. Oh, wow. So that was really the sort of the, the, the most important part of the training right. for me. Describe a typical day. You know what, there isn't a typical day, uh, really, actually, and that's what I love about it. Some days you've got rehearsal, so you could be have to be at rehearsal at 10 a.m., so you have to be up early to warm up, have breakfast, right. be ready to go at 10. And then there, are, once you get into shows, it, the bulk of it is in the evening. So then you're getting home at, well, get home at whatever time you're finished going out after the show. <laughs> but um, you know, you're finishing work at 11 o'clock at night. So then you know you don't, you can't go to bed right away. So yeah. you're up quite late, and, and then you kind of get into more of a sort of a later schedule. I mean, I have a two-year-old, so I have early mornings anyway. Yeah. But uh, when I'm when I'm traveling and working, that's kind of the way it goes. Some days if you're really tired then you let yourself have a day off and you don't you right. don't sing and you maybe just sit with your score for a while and right. I often do it kind of in bed with a glass of wine. <laughs> um, Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You are praised for your fearless versatility, <laughs> changing styles fluidly from early music to contemporary, from opera to art song. What is your favorite to perform? It's impossible to say. I, I, the thing I love about music is that it is all you're always doing something different. So I, I think that I would get bored if I were only doing one, one type or the other. You perform so many operas in different languages. Mm -hmm. How many languages are you fluent in? Well, fluent I, I French and English. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I speak a tiny bit of German, a tiny bit of Italian. We take language courses. Right. I mean, and um, so so you take language courses and have a coach then to yes, assist you. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I've sung in Serbian and I don't speak a word mm -hmm. of Serbian. So yeah. I mean, you, you you learn you learn what you have to learn for your, the role you're doing. Usually, what happens is if you're in Germany, then you speak German, and then a little bit of French or Italian comes in because um, it's kind of your other second language right. back there. So, do you have any pre-performance rituals or routines mm -hmm. that you follow? Yes and no. I mean, I don't have like, you know, I have to do five jumping jacks and then eat an apple or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ritual of coming to the theater is, is neat. Like you come to the theater and you just the, the transformation of, you know, no makeup and no hair and scaring people in the street <laughs> to having the layers of makeup put on and the yeah. and, and that gives you a lot of time to sort of like sit and just kind of be focusing. And um, I try to arrive early enough to look over my stuff and, you know, you look in the mirror and you do a few little, you know, practice a few little things. And Tell me a little bit about your character, the forest bird. Uh, in the Canadian Opera Company's production of Siegfried. I like to think that I'm I'm the catalyst for the whole opera. <laughs> it, no, no, no joke. Um, Siegfried is a is a, a man who's grown up in a forest, and uh, so he hasn't had a lot of um, outside <clears throat> influence. He's not, you know, surrounded by humans necessarily. So he's he's kind of a man of of animals and things like that. So. In some respects, I'm like a forest bird that he, you know, would hear on a daily basis. And then throughout the story, um, he, it's a whole, you know, sort of myth mythological story, but he tastes the blood and uh, of the of the dragon and he suddenly understands my, my words and my song that I've been singing to him. And I'm sort of the, the one that, that keeps him moving forward, that keeps... People say Siegfried's sort of like a the journey of self-discovery, right. but in a sense, I'm I'm the one that helps him discover <laughs> discover himself because I, you know, I'm the one that says, well, you need to do this, and then oh, did you know there's a beautiful Brunhilde, and yeah. you know, this is what you have to do to win her over. So, I think it's a very pivotal role. I think so too. Very <laughs> <laughs> really important. <laughs>
what are the challenges that come with this role? <laughs> well, I mean, flying for me was a new thing. Uh, luckily, I, I don't sing and fly at the same time, which some singers have to do in different productions. But um, that, for me, was definitely a new, a new challenge. Um, it's always difficult being on stage and then, you know, having you sort of have interludes where you don't sing and then you sing. And, you mm-hmm. and so that's kind of, um, that's its own little challenge. And for me, it was my first, it's my first Wagner role. I don't have a, you know, Wagnerian voice. I don't do the big, uh, the, the big heavy roles. Uh, so this is my first time singing. And, it's and so it's, exci- it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. It's neat. And what is it like actually flying across the stage in a harness? I mean, it's that's a different answer today than probably like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> the first few times were kind of terrifying. What's different, I think, is just your your whole sense of balance and and um, like you're sitting in this harness, so your feet aren't touching the ground, and there's there's not that sort of stability of what's straight and what's you know. So yeah. so that's been different. Do you look down when you're up there? I do now. What happens is they take me straight up off stage, and then they kind of put me way 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 up high, and they How they high jump. Up? I, I don't actually know, but it's it's like a, it's the highest. Really high. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then they drop you onto stage because they want to drop you right in the right spot. So yeah. the scary part is the, is going up and going across. That's sort of the part, that, and you're just kind of hanging. You have to be quite still so they can. Yeah. Once I'm actually on the stage, it seems so low compared to where I was that it's not nerve wracking that yeah. way. I feel like oh, I could jump and I'd be fine. <laughs> and can you talk to me a little about a little bit about your uh, your costumes and your makeup? Sure. Well, this show is kind of neat. I have sort of a, a blonde wig sort of thing with a big red stripe and a big red stripe down my face. Okay. The idea uh, that François Girard had was sort of that we are all sort of part of Siegfried's brain. So there are a lot of, we're all sort of similarly, we're at same, similar palettes as okay. far as that goes. So in white costume, I've got really big, beautiful white sort of angel wings kind of thing that fla- flap very nicely when I, when I flap my hands. <laughs> Before the run of Siegfried ends, uh, performances start for the marriage of Figaro. Mm-hmm. What is it like being in two different operas, one German, one Italian, and being two different characters at the same time? What kind of impact does that have on you? It's definitely the first few weeks, I think, are you're, you're sorting through it, you know, especially mm-hmm. as we say, the language like yeah. the, between German and Italian is very different. Uh, so you do have to kind of get into that world and then into the other world. But when you arrive at, in rehearsal, everything is just so there. I mean, you've got the set to rehearse on, and you've got the other cast members, you have the music. It, it kind of, you get transplanted quite quickly into right. it. I think that's so what... So comes naturally? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what I like about doing what I do, is that you just, you're doing this, and then you do this. And you you, start, you go home after, and you have to learn your next role, so you're studying maybe whatever the next opera is coming up anyway. So, While you're doing Yeah, else, so I mean, yeah. You're, you're used to doing that. Both of them are... Uh, fun roles and, and very different so it's in some ways it's easier to do totally different roles because it's easy to go very extreme Back and forth. Yeah. yeah if they were similar sometimes it's perhaps even more difficult somehow, yeah. but yeah and what is your favorite opera <laughs> funnily enough I think it's Marriage of Figaro yeah yeah I've, I've I've really I've always Mozart's always been something I love to sing and I think it's kind of one of those perfect emotional but yet funny operas but it's uh well, you'll have fun with that. Yes, yes. Good luck with everything. Thank you. It's Thank been you a pleasure much. talking to you. you I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you on stage. Yes.